Okay, hi, I'm Marek from the Mexican Games. I'm CEO and developer. Can you talk a little about how your company works with NVIDIA? Uh, we are working with NVIDIA for a long time and uh, usually we are working with them on, on optimizing shaders and special effects like, the, for example, our real-time shadows or reflections. What are your thoughts about the Tegra 4 technology? Uh, I think it's like the next step in the, in the evolution and uh, it's bringing out like, the more power which we can use. And uh, in the games, uh, the, uh, we can use it like the, for, uh, for uh, other effects, have more polygons and have more characters on the screen, so we are pretty happy with it. When it comes to Project Shield, what, are you, what does that open up for you as a game designer? Uh, actually, it's uh, like the, you know, our games are like the more hardcore and uh, using gamepads is, uh, is really great for us. It's, it's making like the new experience with our games and it's, you know, it's, uh, if you will plug it with the TV, it's something like the, like the console almost, so yeah, it's good. When it comes to Dead Trigger 2, can you talk a little about what's new in this game? Uh, we change a lot of things, not like the base uh, core features, because we think that uh, FPS uh, shooting is, uh, we did really well in the Trigger 1, so, so we're considering all some other things, and uh, we are changing it to like the more global zombie warfare than just the arcade shooter. So. For those who haven't played the game, just give us a setup of what's going on in this world. Um, Actually, the, the the story will be in the real time, and we will reveal it something like in the in the serials, in the like the movies, and uh, it will still like the evolution somewhere, and uh, we hope that people will part participate on it, and we will have like the global goals, and they will have to fulfill them together and get some good rewards, and you know we, we want to that they will feel that they are not alone there, that they are fighting with, with others to save the world. What are your thoughts about what you can do today in mobile gaming? Oh, I think that we can use like the, all our experience from the console games, and uh, because the chips are like the more powerful, we can use everything which we learn on the consoles and do it uh, like the best as we can. And uh, yeah, it's it's going to be more tough in the future because uh, the probably development cost and development cycles will be longer. But hopefully, we will have still fun to develop these games. What excites you about the mobile gaming business today? It's uh, about the freedom because as indies we can do what we want and that's, that's really great because you don't need publishers, you don't need producers, you don't need to beg for do some deals. You can do what you want so, and, and that's, that's really fun for us and it's, you know, it's freedom.